Hey everybody, Arnaldo Hoffman here with the Airstream Video Manuals. Now in previous videos you have seen that I've been using my iPad 2 to control all of my lights. But what happens when I use my iPhone as well? You see the Airstream allows you to have multiple devices to be able to control your lights. But unless they're synced up, well it's going to be kind of a mess. So eventually they are going to allow iCloud syncing, but that's not out quite yet. So until that happens, how do you sync up your show? Very easy. First thing we're going to do is I'm going to go and plug my iPad in, or unless you have this option to sync it over Wi-Fi, just make sure you have it plugged in. But we're going to click here uh, where it says apps. Now, give it a second, scroll down to the bottom, and you're going to see file sharing. And this is very simple. I'm just going to go to my Airstream DMX tool, and I'm going to select all three of these, and I'm going to save to. I'm just going to leave it on my desktop. I'm going to make a folder called Airstream. Okay, so there's my Airstream folder. Save to. And it's done. Now I'm going to go over to my iPhone. And now we're going to go to apps. We're going to see Airstream right over here. And it says looking for my phone. There it is. And we're going to add the files. And there's the Airstream files. Now, keep in mind that my phone already had something in there. So it's the same thing for you. You know, if you're going to be switching files back and forth, make sure you back up your show. This is also really handy if you're going to have different shows for different lights or different types of events. Perhaps something for a corporate show is going to be different than a small school dance, which is different than a wedding. So this is going to have you to ha allow to have allow you to have different configurations for different shows. But we're just going to go to an add. And we're going to apply to replace everything. Wonderful. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and open up the iPhone. Now let's see what happens. And there it is right there. There's my QA5s, my pocket twins. You'll see the dots matrix and the hex par. That was from another show that I've recently done. And let's see what else. Oh, look at that. My effects transferred over. My scenes transferred over. So now I have it on my iPad and my iPhone. So that means that if I want to, you know, for example, have my iPad open and then trigger a scene from my iPhone, great. Now keep in mind that it doesn't necessarily sync up what shows you have running, what shows you don't have running. So if you run something on your iPhone and then you run it on your iPad, it's still like if you're running it in one device, but it may not show you that you click the button on another device. So hopefully that helps out. And oh yes, by the way, don't forget if you turn your iPhone sideways, you have all your buttons displayed without any menu items, almost like a sampler. So it's really easy to have, especially if you're DJing at the same time. So hopefully that helps you guys out. I know there's been a lot of questions about that and how that works. So in a nutshell, open up your iTunes. Make sure you have your device highlighted. Click on apps, scroll down to the bottom to file sharing. And there it is right there. Hopefully that helps you guys out. Please make sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends, share with anybody that you know, especially if these videos helped you out. Please share and get as many people to subscribe as possible. Thank you so much for watching. Good night and God bless.